Welcome to the Madison Miller Podcast. Today is Wednesday, September 29th, 2021. Today I'm going to recap last night's Major League Baseball games and look ahead to today's games. Same with the WNBA playoffs. We'll recap last night's games. Major League Soccer, we will look at tonight's slate. Then I'll do my MLB trade value rankings. Latest news and notes. We'll preview tonight's episode of The Mass Singer and my best bet of the day. Okay, we'll start with baseball as we'll go over some big-time results from last night. And we will look ahead to the games being played today. Mets over the Marlins 5 to 2 and 7 double letter game 1. Pirates over the Cubs 8 to 6. Orioles over the Red Sox 4 to 2. Yanks over the Blue Jays 7 to 2. Mets over the Marlins 2 to 1 and 9 on a walk-off um fielder's choice by James McCann. Doubleheader but in 9 innings like it ended in 9 innings coincidental. Braves over the Phillies 2 to 1. Tigers over the Twins 3 to 2. Cards over the Brewers 6 to 2. Rangers over the Angels, 5-2. White Sox over the Reds, 7-1. Royals over the Indians, 6-4. Astros over the Rays, 4-3. Rocks over the Nats, 3-1. Giants over the D-backs, 6-4. Dodgers over the Padres, 2-1. Mariners over the A's, 4-2. Um, so, the Mariners with the big win... Probably putting Oakland in the rearview mirror. Um, Yanks look like they have full control of home field advantage in the AL wildcard game. I believe their magic number sits at, I want to say, two or three. So they could either clinch today or tomorrow, most likely tomorrow. Um, Astros inching closer to the AL West crown. Um... It's amazing they haven't even clinched yet, the Astros. White Sox have already clinched. Brewers clinched with their win. So the last of the National League that needs to be done is the East. Which the Braves can wrap up pretty quickly. And then on the other side in the American League, Oakland's still alive, but I think they're done. Um... Seattle's a half game back of the Red Sox. That's amazing. And then the Yankees have won seven straight. We talked about them. But now let's look ahead to today's games. At 3 o'clock, you have the Nationals of the Rockies. Paolo Espino and Peter Lambert. The Rocks are minus 110. The Nats are minus 106. Over under 12 and a half. Overs minus 102. Unders minus 120. Nats minus 1F is plus 132. Rocks plus 1F is minus 160. I'm going to go under 12 and a half at minus 120. 630, Cubs, Pirates. Kyle Hendricks and Ronsi Contreras. Cubs minus 118. Pittsburgh even money over under 8.5. Overs minus 118. Unders minus 104. Cubs p- minus 1F is plus 134. Pirates plus 1F is minus 162. I'm going with the Cubs straight up minus 118 against the rookie pitcher. 7 o'clock, ESPN, Yanks, Blue Jays from Toronto. Garrett Cole, Jose Barrios, fantastic game. The Yanks are minus 116. The Blue Jays are minus 102 over under 8. Overs minus 114. Unders minus 106. Yanks minus 1F is plus 138. Blue Jays plus 1F is minus 166. Um, so they have to uh, combine with win and Mariners losses to clinch. At least the playoffs, but I'm going to look this up real quickly here. So, yeah, the Yankees' magic number is three. So, they um can get closer to clinching with a win today. So, I'm going to say they get it done with Cole. This is literally for the Cy Young for him today. Minus 116. I'm going with the Yanks straight up. Um, Next up, you got the Red Sox and the O's. Nate Evaldi and Zach Lothar. The Red Sox minus 255. Orioles plus 210 over under 9.5. Overs minus 118. Unders minus 104. Red Sox minus 1.5 is minus 166. Orioles plus 1.5 is plus 138. Let's go with 
the over 9.5 and, and minus 118. I'm going with juicy numbers today. Marlins Mets, Alicia Hernandez and Taiwan Walker. Mets minus 176, Marlins plus 148, over under 7.5. Overs minus 104, unders minus 118. Marlins plus one of his minus 146. Mets minus one of his plus 122. I'm going to go with the over because that is a super duper low number. Phillies Braves at 720. Aaron Nola and Max Freed. The Braves are minus 142. The Phillies are plus 120. Over under eight. Overs minus 112. Unders minus 108. Phillies plus one of his minus 178. Braves minus one of his plus 146. I'm going to go under eight minus 108. I think this is a low scoring game. 730 Tigers twins. Casey Mize and Michael Pineda. The twins are minus 188. The Tigers are plus 158. Over under nine minus 110 HY. Tigers plus one of his minus 128. Twins minus one of his plus 106. I'm going with the Tigers as the road dog plus 158. 745 Brewers Cardinals. Adrian Hauser, Miles Mikolas. Cards minus 124. Brewers plus 106. Over under 8. Overs minus 106. Unders minus 114. Brewers plus 1 of his minus 196. Cardinals minus 1 of his plus 162. I'm going to take the Brewers to end the Cardinals streak tonight. Um, They clinched. They're going to be playing at LA or at San Francisco, most likely at LA. Um. But I think the streak ends tonight. Let down after the clinch. So plus 106 for the Cardinals. I'm sorry, for Milwaukee. 8 o'clock, the Angels and the Rangers. Jansen Junk and Taylor Hearn. Texas minus 122. Angels plus 104. Over under 8.5. Overs minus 118. Unders minus 104. Angels plus one half is minus 184. Rangers minus one half is plus 152. I'm going over 8.5 minus 118. Reds, White Sox, Sonny Gray, Carlos Rodon. Meaningless game for the Reds because they're out of it. White Sox are fighting with the Astros for uh, the two seed pretty much in the American League. That's what's up for grabs. White Sox minus 178, Reds plus 150, over under 8. Overs minus 106, unders minus 114. Reds plus 1F is minus 134. White Sox minus 1F is plus 112. I'm going to go over 8, minus 106. Maybe one of the bullpens blows it. The over, the under. Um, Indians, Royals. Sec, please sec, and Daniel Lynch. Um, the Royals are even money. The Indians are minus 118. Over on the 9, minus 110 each way. Indians minus 1F is plus 142. Royals plus 1F is minus 172. I'm going over 9, minus 110. Rays, Astros. Drew Rasmussen and Luis Garcia. Astros... Um, have not clinched yet, amazingly enough, even a playoff spot because the Mariners are weirdly still in the mix for the AL West. They are uh, four and a half back of them, but I don't think they're going to catch them. Um, Drew Rasmussen, Luis Garcia. The game just locked on me. But I'm going to go with Probably the under if it's if the total is anything higher than seven and a half. Nine forty five D backs Giants Merrill Kelly Alex Wood. Giants minus two seventy D backs plus two twenty over under eight overs minus one hundred five unders minus one fifteen D backs plus one of his plus one twelve Giants minus one of his minus one thirty four I'm going over eight minus one hundred five Giants magic number to clinch the NLS is four. Padres Dodgers at 10 o'clock on ESPN. I don't know why this game got picked. It was the Padres are out of it, but I understand the Dodgers get the ratings. Um, I think A's Mariners should be on ESPN personally because those, those are bigger games technically. But yeah, they're the favoritism towards the big market, I guess. But although they are fighting for a division crown, they're still in the mix for a division crown. I guess to be fair. Ryan Weathers and Max Scherzer. The Dodgers are minus one, or I'm sorry, minus 310. Pods plus 250. Over under eight, minus 110 inch wide. 
San Diego plus one half is plus one twenty five. Dodgers minus one half is minus one fifty. I'm going over eight minus one ten. And by the way, the the total for Rays Astros is nine. That's an under no brainer. Under minus one six is the pick. And then A's Mariners Frankie Montas Logan Gilbert. Oakland minus one twelve. Seattle minus one four over under seven half minus one ten H Y. Oakland minus one half is plus one forty two. Seattle plus one half is minus one seventy two. I'm going over seven half at minus. 110. All right, now we will look at the WNBA playoff games from last night, which were very entertaining. And the WNBA playoffs have actually been really, really good this year so far. So that's really, really good. Um... Sky over the sun, 101-95 in double overtime. Candace Parker, 22 points. And John Cole Jones at 26, 11-4 as the Sky take a 1-0 series lead. Aces over the Mercury, 96-90. Rakina Williams led the Aces in scoring with 26. And Brittany Griner at 24 and 6 dishes for... Mercury as the Aces go up 1-0 in that series. All right, now I'm going to look at tonight's Major League Soccer slate. I'm going to do picks, actually, um, for this segment because we actually have a little bit of time here. Um, so we'll start with... Um. Hmm. Alrighty, at seven o'clock you have Atlanta in Miami. Atlanta's minus two twenty. Miami's plus four ninety. Draw plus three thirty. We'll go with Atlanta. Toronto, Cincinnati. Toronto is minus one thirty five. Cincinnati three to one. Draw plus two seventy. Um, oof. I like the draw at plus 270. I think that's good value. 730, Montreal, New England. Montreal plus 140, New England plus 160, draw plus 240. Um, hmm, this is a tough call. Let's go with another draw at plus 240. I like the draw there too. Red Bulls, Philadelphia. Red Bulls plus 110. Philly plus 220. Draw plus 220. Um, I'm actually going to go with uh, yet another draw. I love the draws. Plus 220. I want to parlay all these draws for real. DC United and Minnesota United. DC minus 135. Minnesota plus 330. Draw plus 260. Let's go with DC minus 135. 8 o'clock, FC Dallas and KC. Dallas plus 130, KC plus 170, draw plus 250. Let's go with KC plus 170 on the road. Chicago, NYCFC. Chicago is a plus 230 dog. New York's even money on the road, draw plus 250. Let's go. With NYCFC. 830, Nashville, Orlando. Nashville minus 165. Orlando, 4-1. to one, Draw plus 270. Let's go with Nashville. 9 o'clock, Houston, Vancouver. Houston's minus 120. Vancouver plus 280. Draw plus 250. Let's go with the draw at plus 250. Um, Colorado, Austin, FC. Colorado minus 270. Austin, 5-1. Draw plus 390. I'm going with uh, Colorado. Real Salt Lake plus 105 against LA Galaxy. That game's on at 9 30. LA Galaxy is plus 220. Draw is plus 250. Um, let's go with Real Salt Lake plus 105. 10 30. LAFC Portland. LAFC 195. Portland 4 1. Draw plus 330. Going LAFC. And San Jose Seattle. San Jose is plus 155. Seattle's plus 160. Draws. 
plus 210. This is a great game, but I'm going to go with Seattle on the road at plus 160 against San Jose. All right, now I'm going to do my Major League Baseball trade value rankings. Like I did yesterday for the NFL, the players are ranked solely on trade value, not player rankings. So just want to make that clear yet again. So without further ado, here we go. Um, I have a lot of honorable mentions on the list. I'll just go over them right now. Um, a couple closers, Andrew Chafin, Paul Seawall, Ryan Presley, Russell Iglesias, Jonathan Luizico, Garrett Whitlock, and uh, Garrett Crochet. Some of them are just relievers as well that I think will be closers in the future. Next group of guys is a group of veterans who've somewhat underperformed this year or are going to be free agents. Starling Marte, Whit Merrifield, DJ LeMayu. And then two star veterans have underachieved this year, Cody Ballinger and Christian Yelich. A highly paid pitcher in Chris Sale. Two veterans that are highly paid or that are having awesome seasons, Manny Machado and Giancarlo Stanton. Some young prospects that really haven't put it all together yet, Logan Gilbert, Chas Chisholm, Joe Adele, Jared Kalenic, Cabrian Hayes, Jesus Sanchez, Ryan Mountcastle. Ryan Mountcastle, Nico Horner, Brandon Lau, Dansby Swanson, J.P. Crawford. Some of those have actually put it all together, but the first couple really haven't. But the ones that um, are coming along are Sanchez and Hayes, and the ones that have really been fine this year, Mountcastle, Horner, and then um, a couple young players here that are um, middle infielders, ironically enough. That had some moments this year. Brendan Lau, Dansby Swanson, J.P. Crawford. And then the next six guys on the honorable mentions list, or I should say the last six guys are all um, either veteran pitchers or younger pitchers that have been, like, weirdly inconsistent um, or injured. Lance Lynn, Hyunjin Ryu, Sean Manaya, Marco Gonzalez, Kyle Hendricks, Aaron Noah. And now to the top 100. All right. Numbers 199 are on teams that um, are battling it out the rest of the season in hopes of stealing one of those wild card spots. So Chris Flex and Chris Bassett of Seattle and Oakland, respectively. The next two pitchers on this list, 98 and 97, are pitchers that have some great numbers but have some underwhelming numbers in Blake Snell and Luis Castillo. Number 96, in my opinion, is the best reliever in all of baseball and is the only reliever to make to actually make the top 100. That's Josh Hader of Milwaukee. Numbers 95 through 92 are young pitchers um, that have showed a ton of promise. 95, Tanner Hawk, 94, Shane McClanahan, 93, Ian Anderson, and 92, Casey Mize. Numbers 91 through 87 are great players that are going to be free agents at the end of the year. And that's another thing with the trade value. You're lower than you really should be if you're going to be a free agent because you're not locked up long term yet. 90, Corey Seager. Actually, no, I skipped 91, which is Trevor Story. 90 is Seager. 89, Chris Bryant. 88, Javier Baez. 87, Freddie Freeman. Um, the next group of players is a big group of young players that are having either very good seasons or guys that have had good seasons in the past that are that have some good numbers that pop out that suggest that maybe they're having better years than you think. Um, 86, Josh Bell, 85, Byron Buxton, 84, Mitch Hanniger, 83, Jose Ramirez, 82, Jose Abreu, 81, Framel Reyes, 82, Anderson, 79, Ozzy Albies, 78, William Adamas, 77, Ty France, 76, Austin Meadows, 75, Lourdes Gurriel Jr., 74, Brian Reynolds, 73, Cedric Mullins, 72, Teoscar Hernandez, 71, Nicholas Castellanos, 
70, Alex Verdugo. 69, Jesse Winker. 68, Tyler O'Neill. Um, the next two guys are two young players. One of them's having a fantastic rookie season, and the other one has just been promising. I think it's going to be very good. 67 is Kiebert Ruiz, and 66 is Jonathan India. Uh, the next group of guys I'm going to list off is a group. Um, actually, it's mixed of position players and pitchers, but the next three guys are pitchers that have just been really good this year. 65, Dylan C., 64, Pablo Lopez, 63, Jose Yurdeke, 62, Ranger Suarez. The next three guys on this list are guys that are... Um, a couple of them are having down years. Some of them are actually having decent years. But they're not living up with the, what they should be, some of them. Um, and the two that, to me, should be better than what they are, 61, Matt Chapman, and 60, Gon Moncada. And 59, Max Muncy has some good stats, but other stats really haven't popped. The next two guys on this list are free agent pitchers to be. 58, Robbie Ray. 57, Kevin Gossman, who just both have had career years this year. The next two guys on this list will also be free agents at the end of the year. They've just been awesome. 56, Cal Schwarber. 55, Marcus Simeon. 54 is one Max Scherzer, who is going to be a free agent at the end of the season. And it's just been unbelievable this year. Numbers 53 through 47 on this list are a group of veteran stars who have already been paid. Some of them having great years. Some of them having very good years. 53, George Springer. 52, Anthony Rendon, who obviously was hurt. 51, JT Romuto. 50, Jose Altuve. 49, Paul Goldschmidt. 48, Xander Bogarts. 47, Nolan Arenado. The next group is a monster group of pitchers who've really shown a ton of promise or um, don't have the numbers to back it up, but have been very good for their respective teams. 15 pitchers on this group of lists coming up. 46, Sandy Alcantara. 45, Lucas Giolito. 44, Mike Soroka, who... Obviously, was injured. 43, Tyler Glasnow. 42, Jose Barrios. 41, Frankie Montas. 40, John Means. 39, Logan Webb. 38, Julio Urias. 37, Brandon Woodruff. 36, Alec Manoa. 35, Cal Quantrill. 34, Trevor Rogers. 33, Sixto Sanchez. 32, Max Fried. 31, Shane Baez. The next couple guys are... um. Veteran pitchers that have either been paid or will be paid again. 30, Zach Wheeler. 29, Jacob DeGrom. 28, Garrett Cole. The next three pitchers on this list are the cream of the crop future elite. 27, Shane Bieber. 26, Corbin Burns. 25, Walker Bueller. And I'm debating on whether to put that group, the, the three Pitchers I just listed off a little bit higher than this, which I probably am. I'm going to make some changes on the fly here. So, I'm going to bump those three pitchers on this list a little bit. And you'll see where in a moment. Because I think I had these the group of pitchers too low. So now my... Um, new top 27. Well, it's really top 30 because the three highly paid pitchers and then now we're just going to go with names. 27, Will Smith, because um, it's just random at this point. 26, Randy Azarena. Arizona. 25, Eloy Jimenez. 24, Ronda Franco. 23, Cato Marte. 24, 22, Bo Bichette. 21, Jordan Alvarez. 20, Austin Riley. 19, Matt Olson. 18, Trey Turner. 17, Peter Alonzo. 16, Salvador Perez. 15, Rafael Devers. 14, Mookie Betts. 13, Aaron Judge. 12, Bryce Harper. 11, Mike Trout. 10, Alex Bregman. And then 9, 8, and 7 was where I moved Bieber, Burns, and Bueller. Bieber, 9, Burns, 8, Bueller, 7. 
Then your top six. Six, Luis Robert. Five, Ronald Acuna Jr. Four, Vlad Guerrero Jr. Three, Juan Soto. Two, Fernando Tatis Jr. Number one, the two-way sensation, Shohei Otani of the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. I don't think a lot of you were expecting Otani to be number one on this list, but he is because he... It's an elite hitter, an elite pitcher, and if you're a two-way player and elite at both things, you deserve to be number one on the list. And to think that Mike Trout's not even in the top ten is just crazy, right? But yeah, that's where we are right now in Major League Baseball. All right, now I'm going to go over the latest news and notes for today. Um, coming down right now is that... uh. Julio Jones can miss week four against the Jets as he's getting treatment for a leg injury. So there was a book that came out by Seth Wickersham about the Patriots drama and a couple notes in the book that Bill Belichick wouldn't meet with Brady in 2020. Robert Kraft called Belichick an effing a-hole. So those are two things that came out of the book. I want to go get the book, actually, because it, it seems very, very interesting. I'm actually going to get the book, and I'll do a podcast on the book. Maybe I'll have a guest on to talk about it, too. I might have Bobby Thompson on to talk about the book because he's a Patriots fan. That's the person I want to have on, either him or Nick Caruso. But I'd rather have Bobby on because I think that Bobby um, is somebody that I think – would be um, the better one for talking about this book. Um, speaking of Patriots, an ex-Patriot has been released by the Detroit Lions after uh, they attempted to trade him, and that's Jamie Collins. And speaking of trading players, the Indianapolis Colts are shopping Marlon Mack as both sides agreed mutually to seek a trade after he was inactive a week ago. Richard Sherman is joining the Bucks as he announces on his podcast that he's signing with the Buccaneers on a one-year deal. So it's just another veteran on that team to bolster their secondary. Um, the NBA is finalizing an agreement with the Players Union on a, sell, a set of health and safety protocols for the season. That is good news. Um... So the college football playoff executive director, Bill Hancock, says the group has luxury of time to determine the future format. So that's going to be a subplot for a while. Um, the grand jury declines to indict six Kentucky Wildcat football players on first-degree bulgary charges. Oof. Some interesting news from yesterday is that Belmont will be joining the Missouri Valley Conference in the fall of 2022 as their 11th member. Good for Belmont getting out of their current conference and joining a better conference. And I think they fit very well in the in the Missouri Valley. I really do, especially for college basketball. Um, big news that broke late last night. Boxing legend Manny Pacquiao announces retirement from the sport. Remains the only eight-division world champ ever. So... Congrats to Manny Pacquiao on his retirement. Great boxer, fabulous career. Um, something very funny is that the Orioles um, posted a win meme on Twitter last night after it beat the Red Sox last night. And it was like, retweet if you've always been a diehard fan of us or something like that. It was really funny. And talking about conspiracy theories and whatnot, the Yankees got a pet turtle and they named it Bronxy and he was there for the Red Sox sweep and it roams around the clubhouse. Um, the funny thing is that Bronxy did not make the trip to Toronto and I noticed on social media with people I follow on Twitter that the Yankee fans were not happy about that, but hey, they got the win last night, so... um, um Bronxy or not, the Yankees are playing very well right now. Um, big loss for the San Francisco Giants as they lose Brandon Belt 
for four weeks with a fractured thumb. That really stinks. He's been very good for them this year, helping them win the division title if they do so. Or I should say helping them make the playoffs. But yeah, sad injury. Hopefully he gets well soon. And something that should have been done months ago. The Mets shut down Jacob DeGrom for the season with the elbow injury. This should have happened probably a month and a half ago. But no, they thought they were still in contention and kept the hope alive. But once they were eliminated, they pulled the plug. Um, Dennis Schroeder says that he never saw an $84 million contract from the Lakers So, that's interesting. He claims he never had it. Meanwhile, it's been reported that there was a contract there. So, somebody's lying here. It might be the media. Um, the Lightning Extend General Manager, Bryce Boyce, Beyond this year, after guiding the team to back the back Stanley Cup titles, so that's well deserving. The NCAA to change the targeting rule potentially, as uh, they will expect the rule to be examined this off season. And last one, um, Eagles starting guard Isaac Somalo out for the season, as he will. Um, be getting surgery on his injuries. So that's a brutal loss for the Eagles in their offensive line. Uh, Somalo has shown some promise. Um, and they're going to have to replace him somehow. All right, now we will discuss tonight's episode of The Masked Singer. It is Group B that will be going tonight. Um, so what we've seen so far in terms of, um, the, uh, um, costumes, we've seen Bull, we've seen Skunk, we've seen Baby, We've seen octopus. We've seen Mother Nature, puffer fish, and hamster. So, I wonder who we'll see. Um. So we've seen seven costumes. Three of them have been out. Um. So, still out there is Caterpillar, Mallard, Pepper, Cupcake, Banana Split, Queen of Hearts, Jester, Beach Ball, Dalmatian. So, that is nine. So, we've seen two wild cards. There's probably two more wild cards. And maybe there's a character that we haven't seen yet. Like in the preview show or whatnot. So I'm just doing max 6, 8, 14. And we've seen 7. So maybe we'll see 5 tonight. And then wild card, wild card. So that's a small um, cast. 14? There's usually more than that. There's usually 18. But we'll see. Not everything in the preview show, or not everything is shown in the preview show. So um, it's going to be a fun episode tonight, that's for sure. And... I'm certainly looking forward to it. And 
We'll get into alter ego on the show once we have some time. All right, last but not least, my best bet of the day brought to you by FanDuel. Um, There's some interesting ones for sure. I won last night with the over in the D-backs Giants game. Um, so, ooh, the Yankees just went down to minus 110 against the Blue Jays. Ooh, now it's minus 112. It went up again. So maybe the Blue Jays are just taking a lot of money. Um, And the Yankees tend to have uh, hit Barrios well in the past. There's a lot of intrigue on the board in terms of picks for best bet. But the one that jumped out at me was under nine in the Rays Astros game. So that's where I'm gonna go for best bet. We like two units under nine Rays Astros. I hate picking unders normally, but I love this under. I think it's the low scoring game. This has four three written all over. I don't know who wins. All right, so that's it for today's show. I'll be back tomorrow recapping the baseball games, looking ahead to tomorrow's games. We have Thursday night football and college football to talk about tomorrow. Um, WNBA playoffs, we'll go over MLS games too. NBA trade value list, we'll recap Mass Singer and news and notes and best bet for you as well. Hope you guys have a great day, everyone.